familiarizing with weekdays uncle where are you going every morning i go out for a walk can i come with you please yes chotu today is sunday it's a fun day it's your holiday so you can come to what is this sunday please tell me sunday is one of the seven days of the week and what is a week you come with me i will teach you friends today in this video we will learn about the days of the week chotu why is your school closed today any one day is given as a holiday in school not any one day but one day a week that to every sunday is given as holiday in the school uncle how many days are there in a week a week is made up of 7 days the first day is monday the second day is tuesday the third day is wednesday the fourth day is thursday the fifth day is friday the sixth day is saturday and the seventh day is sunday out of these seven days sunday is always a holiday chotu repeat with me the days of the week monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday these are the seven days of the week hey uncle look here what is this hey the butterfly has laid eggs on this leaf about 4 to 5 days ago what will happen to it now to know this we will have to come and observe them every day for a week okay but yes we will have to get up early in the morning so that you don't get late for the school let us go home now yes let's go remember today is the 7th day of the week that is sunday and today we have started observing the butterfly eggs yes today is sunday the 7th day of the week come on chotu are you ready to see the butterfly eggs yes what day of the week is today today is the first day of the week it means monday monday comes after sunday absolutely right hey uncle a worm is coming out of the egg and it is eating the egg shell yes look how small the worm is come on let's go back home otherwise i will be late for school yes let's go we will come tomorrow uncle let's go i'm ready yes let's go what day of the week is today today is the second day of the week which is tuesday well done look chotu this worm is eating leaves yes look like the worm is very hungry <laughs> let us go back uncle let's go to see the worm yes what day of the week is today after tuesday 
Wednesday is the third day of the week. Well done. Look, Chotu, this worm is still eating leaves. The worm ate so many leaves. Yes. Now let's go back home. Let's go, Uncle. Yes. What day of the week is today? After Wednesday, the fourth day of the week is Thursday. Well done. Look, this worm has only been eating, and he is growing larger. Yes, the worm keeps eating until it becomes fat. Are you ready? Yes, Uncle. Today is the fifth day of the week. Hmm. After Thursday, the next day is Friday. Hey, what is this worm doing? It is shedding its old skin. It used to look small earlier, and now it has become so big. Come on, let's go home. Uncle, tomorrow is the sixth day of the week. Yes, the sixth day is Saturday. So does the worm keep eating like this? Yes. It eats for 14 to 15 days. During this period, it sheds its skin five to six times. When it becomes very large, it finds a safe place and hangs upside down in the shape of alphabet J. Then it creates a secure cover around itself. It remains like this for few days. During this time period. It goes through certain changes, and then comes out as a little butterfly. These life cycle changes takes up to one month. Along with the days of the week, I also got to learn about the life cycle of a butterfly. Yes, but learning the days of the week is more important. Okay, Uncle. Friends, today. You learnt about the days of the week. In the next video, you will learn some interesting facts related to days of a week. Hey, Chotu, what happened, Uncle? You told me about the seven days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But today, my teacher said that. There will be a drawing period tomorrow, and we should bring a color box. But what day of the week is tomorrow? I don't understand. Please tell me, Uncle. Let me explain, friends. Today in this video, we will learn some interesting facts related to the days of the week. The past day. Yesterday, also today, and the coming day, tomorrow, are not one of the days of the week. They are used to indicate the days of the week. I didn't understand. First of all, write the days of the week on a piece of paper. I wrote down the names of the seven days of the week. Now, tell me what day is today. Today is the day of today. Not like this. From the time we wake up in the morning till the time we sleep at night is called today. So, now, tell me. Which day of the week is today? 
Today is the first day of the week. It means Monday, right? Look, we will circle Monday and write today next to it. Yesterday was which day of the week? Meaning? Yesterday means the day that has gone or the day before today. Today is Monday. So, the day before that was Sunday. Correct. Now, mark a circle on Sunday and write yesterday next to it. The coming day, tomorrow, will be which day of the week? Meaning? The coming day, tomorrow, means the next day or the day after today. Tomorrow is the next day after Monday, which is Tuesday. So now, we will circle Tuesday and write tomorrow next to it. Yes, understood. Tomorrow morning, Tuesday will become today. Yes, Chotu. And today is Monday. Tomorrow it will become yesterday. Hmm. And on Tuesday, Wednesday will become tomorrow. This is fun. Uncle, will you help me pack my school bag according to the timetable? Of course I will. Bring your timetable. Tomorrow is Tuesday, which is the second day of the week. So the first period is of sports. The second is drawing and the third again is sports. Hey, where are you looking? Tuesday is the second day of the week. So I am looking at the row number two. Chotu, you have to keep the books for Tuesday, right? Yes. Look, in this timetable, the days from Monday to Saturday are written. Tomorrow is Tuesday. So, we have to look at the subjects written in Tuesday's column. All right. So, here are the subjects. Hindi, drawing. Mathematics, English, Science and Music are mentioned in Tuesday's column. Yes, you are right. Now I will remember this. In order to see the timetable, I will have to keep in the mind the days of the week. Yes. Thank you, Uncle, for teaching me so much. <laughs> Friends, today in this video, we learned some interesting facts related to the days of the week. In the next video, we will introduce months of the year. Rising with months. Uncle School Foundation Day will be celebrated on November 23rd at our school. Uncle, what is this November? How will we know when it comes and what day of the week it is? Chotu, to know all this, you will have to understand a calendar. Friends, in this video, we will become familiar with the names and days of the 12 months of a year. You know that there are 7 days of the week. These are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 
and Sunday. Yes, uncle. I know it. Chotu, similarly, there are twelve months in a year. The first day of the year always starts with first of January and the last day is the 31st of December. Mm, the first month is January and the last month is December. What are the months between these two months? Look, there are 12 months in a year. These are 1st January, 2nd February, 3rd March, 4th April, 5th May, 6th June, 7th July, 8th August, 9th September, 10th October, 11th November, and 12th December. Uncle, how many weeks are there in a month? Chotu, there are four weeks and a few days in one month. Uncle, how many days are there in each month? The number of days in each month varies. For instance, January, March, May, July, August, October, and December are the long months. There are 31 days in these months. April, June, September and November are the short months. There are 30 days in these months. Hey, you did not tell how many days are there in the month of February. Chotu, February is the shortest month. Normally, there are 28 days in February. But yes, once in every four years, there are 29 days in February. Because it takes 365 days and 6 hours for the Earth to complete one revolution around the Sun. These remaining 6 hours of every year added together for 4 years becomes one day. So every fourth year, the month of February has 29 days, which is called a leap year. Uncle, if we add all the days of the 12 months, then what is the total number of days? If we add all the days of 12 months, it makes a total of 365 days. And yes, if we add all the days of the 12 months in a leap year, then the total number of days is 366. Uncle, the foundation day of my school is on November 23rd. So, how will I know which day will be on November 23rd? Look, Chotu, this is the calendar of November 2019. Here, every letter given above shows the names of the days of the week, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Yes, group of these seven days is called a week. Yes, Chotu. To find the day of a date, look at the weekday name column in the calendar. In whichever weekday column a date falls, it is that day. Hmm, 23rd is showing in the Saturday column in the month of November. Yes, then 23rd November is a Saturday. 
Now I understand. In our school, on the twenty-third November, the school foundation day will be celebrated on Saturday. Hmm. Chotu, tell me, what all do you remember about the months of a year? There are four weeks and a few days in a month. There are twelve months in a year. January, March, May. July, August, October, and December months have thirty-one days. Yes, and April, June, September, and November months have thirty days. Chotu, how many days are there in February? February has twenty-eight or twenty-nine days. Very good. Now tell me. How many days are there in a year? There are three hundred and sixty-five or three hundred and sixty-six days in a year. Chotu, now you know how to see the months and days in the calendar, right? Yes, Uncle. Now I know it very well. Very good, Chotu. Friends, with this video, you became familiar. with the names of days and 12 months of the year in the next video we will learn interesting things related to the 12 months of a year friends Today in this video we will learn interesting things related to the months of the year Hey chotu why are you continuously changing the pages of this calendar Uncle you had taught how many days are there in which month but now i have forgotten That's why I was looking at this calendar and memorizing it. Do you want to learn how to remember all the days of the months without looking at the calendar? Yes, yes, please teach me, uncle. Okay, I will teach you. First of all, move both hands forward like this. Now look here. The long months with thirty-one days are the elevated parts of the fingers, and the short months with thirty days come at the places between the fingers. But February has twenty-eight or twenty-nine days. Hmm. There are thirty-one days in the months of January, March, May, July. August, October, and December. Very good, Chotu. Yes, and there are thirty days in this four months: April, June, September, and November. Yes, just remember. Months with thirty days are four, and there are seven months with thirty-one days. Yes, uncle. There are four months of thirty days and seven months of thirty-one days, and February is the month of twenty-eight or twenty-nine days. Oh wow! Very good, Chotu. Uncle, will you help me do my homework? Chotu. You do your homework on your own every day? Yes, but in today's homework against the names of these festivals, I have to write in which month they come. But I can't figure out which festival comes in which month. Okay, I will help you understand. Then you do your homework yourself. Okay. Look The Christmas festival is celebrated on 25th of December in the memory of Jesus Christ. Okay, 
so Christmas comes in the month of December. Yes, and Janamashtami is the festival of the birth of Shri Krishna. It is celebrated in the month of August. And in which month do Lohri, Uttarayan and Pongal come? These three festivals are celebrated in the month of January. Oh, so these three festivals come in the same month. Yes, Chotu. Lohri in North India, Uttarayan in Gujarat and Pongal in South India. In this way, all three festivals are celebrated in the month of January. Yes, I understand, Uncle. This is the festival of Durga Puja. It is celebrated in East India as a symbol of victory of good over evil. This festival is celebrated in the month of October, right? Yes, that's right. The festival of Holi is celebrated in the month of March in Central India. Uncle, Holi is a festival of colours. I like it very much. I too like it. Come on, now tell me, Independence Day comes in which month? Oh, I can never remember in which month Independence Day and Republic Day are celebrated. <laughs> Chotu, our country India got independence from the Britishers on 15th August. Independence Day is celebrated in the month of August to mark this occasion. And in which month is Republic Day celebrated? Republic Day is celebrated on the 26th of January. On this day, the Constitution of India was implemented. Oh, now I understand. Uncle, now I will be able to do my homework easily. This is very good. You do your homework. I will leave now. Yes. Christmas festival comes in the month of December. Chenmashtami festival comes in the month of August. The festivals of Lohri, Uttarayan and Pongal come in the month of January. Durga Puja is celebrated in the month of October. Holi in the month of March, Independence Day in the month of August and Republic Day in the month of January. Homework is done! Friends, today in this video, we learned interesting things related to the months of the year. In the next video, we will familiarize ourselves with the seasons. with seasons. Chotu, I am going to the market today. Tell me, what should I bring for you? Uncle, get mangoes for me. You know, I like mangoes very much. Oh, mangoes come in the Summer season. I know summer. But uh, what is this season? Come, let me explain to you about the seasons. Friends, today in this video, we will learn about the three main seasons in India. Chotu, there are three main seasons in India. For a certain time period, when the weather remains usually the same throughout, it is called season. But uncle, what is weather? The change in the day-to-day -day conditions of a place is called weather. For example, there is bright sunshine in the morning and cloudy in the evening. But uncle, how are weather and seasons 
different from each other look the weather can change every day but not the season okay so how many seasons are there in our country there are three main seasons in india they always come in the same order in the year what are these three seasons hot means summer summer season rains means monsoon season and cold means winter season how will we know which season is going on march april may and june months are very hot so these are the summer months oh yes in summer i have school holidays and at that time mother also bring mangoes for me <laughs> chotu fruits like mangoes watermelon pineapple and vegetables like cluster beans lady finger gourds all come in the summer season chotu in the summer season there is strong sunshine also yes i also feel thirsty and my feet burn when i walk barefoot <laughs> that's right in summer we wear light colored cotton clothes and yes to protect us from the heat we switch on the fan and also eat ice cream chotu after the summer season the monsoon season arrives yes it rains a lot in this season and sometimes the sun hides behind the clouds yes july august september are the rainy months in this season bananas plums peaches are the fruits bitter gourd capsicum corn are the vegetables of this season and yes in this season we use raincoats and umbrellas to avoid getting wet in the rain yes you are right after the monsoon season comes the cold season means winter yes to protect me from cold mother makes me wear woolen clothes november december january are the months of winter in these months pomegranate guava dates are the fruits and tomato radish brinjal are the vegetables uncle in this season my teeth chatter due to cold while going to school in the morning and yes at night my father makes me sit near the fire to protect me from cold <laughs> now tell me about all the three seasons yes the season of harsh sunshine is summer season the season when it rains a lot is the monsoon season and the season when it's very cold is the winter season wow very good chotu okay now i'll go to the market what should i bring for you it is the monsoon season now so bring bananas and plums for me okay hey uncle Don't forget to take the umbrella with you. Yes, Chotu. Bye. Bye. Friends, in this video, you learned about the three main seasons of India. In the next video, we will see interesting examples related to weekdays, twelve months, and seasons.
children in this video we will see some interesting examples related to days of the week months and seasons chotu your exams are approaching do you remember about days of the week months and seasons yes uncle okay so i have prepared a test paper based on that you have to write the answers in it uncle this test paper has three sections in the first section there are questions on days of the week in the second section there are questions on months and in the third section there are questions on seasons yes you are right now start writing the first question in the first section is which is the first day of the week answer the first day of the week is monday second question on which day of the week there is a school holiday answer in a week there is a school holiday on sunday third question which day comes 7 days after saturday answer after saturday comes sunday monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday So Saturday comes again after 7 days Fourth question Today is Thursday So tomorrow will be which day of the week Answer Today is Thursday So tomorrow will be Friday Fifth question In the examination time table given here on which day of the week is the maths exam Answer Maths exam is on the 21st of October That day is the first day of the week that is Monday. First question of the second section. How many days are there in a leap year and why? Answer. There are 29 days in the month of February in a leap year. Hence there are 366 days in this year. Second question. In which month does Independence Day come and how many days are there in this month? Answer: Independence Day comes in the month of August and there are 31 days in this month. Third question: In the year 2019, how many Saturdays are there in the month of November? Answer: In the year 2019, in the month of November, Saturdays come on the 2nd, 9th, 16th, 23rd and the 30th. Therefore, there are 5 Saturdays in this month. Fourth question. How many days are there in total in the month of March and April? Answer. There are 31 days in the month of March and 30 days in the month of April. When we add both, we get a total of 61 days. First question of the third section In which season does it feel nice to sit near a fire Answer In the winter season teeth chatter then it feels nice to sit near a fire Second question King of fruits comes in which season Answer The king of fruits is mango This comes in the hot or summer season. Third question. 
in which season are the items given in the picture used answer umbrellas and raincoats are used to avoid getting wet during the monsoon season fourth question what do people do to protect themselves from the heat in summer season answer in summer season people wear light colored clothes eat ice cream and switch on the fan to protect themselves from the heat so chotu have you written all the answers yes uncle look oh wow chotu you have answered all the questions correctly thank you uncle children through this video you have seen some interesting examples related to the days of the week months and seasons in the next video we will learn to guess the length of objects around us